Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Why does the black, Hispanic, and Native American man hate each other so much? Because we full of demons and evil. That's right. It's evil to kill a brother that looks like you. It's evil for me to sell poison to you, knowing the detriment that it's going to do to you. That's pure wickedness. You know that that stuff got is cut with that fentanyl. You know brothers is out here dying from it. And do you stop pushing it? No. And then we want to turn around and blame the white man. Like the white man is the reason for all our troubles. No, it's you. We are the reason for all our troubles in our community. Don't want to clean up after each other. Don't want to correct each other. Read. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Watch what the Bible says. They hate him. They do what? They hate him. The Bible says that they hate them. So a certain group of people going to hate another group of people. The they that hates them is you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that hate your brothers for telling you the truth. It's time to wake up at the sleep that you in. Our people are in the deep sleep. Some of us sleep because we tired, and some of us sleep because we all fitting off. We off the bag. My brother right here in the chair. What's your name, bro? My name is Mark Anthony Johnson. Mark Anthony Johnson. Come build with me, bro. Don't leave, man. You act like you about to leave your brother, man. I'm your brother. Build with me for two minutes of your time. We out here for you, bro. We out here for you. So, Mark, hey, Lafayette. I asked you a question earlier. Come build with me. Yeah, Lafayette, that's, that's my brother too. You my brother too. My brother right here. We out here for you. What's your name, bro? Philip. So what we out here to do is to show you Lafayette, Philip, and Mark that y'all are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Y'all ain't black. Y'all ain't African American. Y'all ain't Negro. Y'all ain't color. None of that. When God created this earth, he created a chosen special people to be close to him. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. Guess who they are? That's you. That's who you be. You ain't no niggas. Don't let the world teach you that you niggas or criminals or inmates or ops or enemies. That ain't who y'all are. Y'all are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. God's chosen people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. And I'm saying this because God said it. Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. What did God say? For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Most High God said you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are in holy people. You know what it means to be holy? It means to be separate. Meaning we supposed to be different from the world. If the world is out here doing fitting all, we not supposed to be doing it. If the world is out here putting that dope in their arm, we not supposed to be doing it. If the world is out here committing murder, we not supposed to be doing it. If the world is out here stealing, we are not supposed to be doing it. If the world is gang banging, you're not supposed to be doing it. My brother, come build with us. Don't just stand over there. We out here for you. Just two minutes of your time. You ain't got to be ashamed. Come build with your brothers. You are supposed to be separate and holy. Read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Because that's all we are here to do. Lafayette know he an Israelite. Uh, the rest of our brothers don't know that they're God's chosen people. You don't know that you're special to the Most High. You know why? Because the world told us that we was GDs, BDs, Vice Lords, and Black Stones. That's what the world taught us to be. They taught our daughters to be thoughts. Little whores that twerk at the age of three years old shaking their butts in diapers. You got little girls shaking their butts in diapers. And what is a black man out here doing for the community? Nothing. We sit here and we clap and rejoice. You see little babies out here shaking their butt and we sit there and dance and rejoice with them as if it's okay. We see older men nodding off in the street off that dog food and do you go build them up and correct them? No, you keep pushing that poison to them. But as soon as brothers come out here to tell you this, read it again from the top. For thou art in holy people. As soon as you got black men to come tell other black men that you're a holy people, you know the response that we get? Give me Amos chapter 5 and verse 10 and we coming back here. Every time that we come out here and try to tell our people love, the response that we get is hatred. Hatred. Why does the black, Hispanic, and Native American man hate each other so much? Because we full of demons and evil. That's right. It's evil to kill a brother that looks like you. It's evil for me to sell poison to you, knowing the detriment that it's going to do to you. 
That's pure wickedness. You know that that stuff got is cut with that fentanyl. You know brothers is out here dying from it. And do you stop pushing it? No. And then we want to turn around and blame the white man. Like the white man is the reason for all our troubles. No, it's you. We are the reason for all our troubles in our community. Don't want to clean up after each other. Don't want to correct each other. Read. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Watch what the Bible says. They hate him. They do what? They hate him. The Bible says that they hate them. So a certain group of people going to hate another group of people. The they that hates them is you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that hate your brothers for telling you the truth. Read it again. They hate him. They do what? They hate him. We come out here and tell the black man you the greatest thing that ever walked the face of the earth. Whether you believe it or not, you ain't just no niggas. You ain't no coons. You ain't black. The black man is the greatest thing walking the face of the earth when we keep God laws. But we don't want to keep no laws. We want to be Muslims. We want to be Buddhists. We want to be high. We want to be drunk. But we don't want to be leaders in our community like God commanded us to be. And when you got brothers that come tell you to be a leader, what's the response that you get? Read it again. They hate him. You hate them. You hate anybody that comes out here, corrects you, and tell you to change. Black man, newsflash, selling dope don't work. Bring it out. Selling dope, gang banging don't work. It don't work. You got brothers doing 30, 40, 50 years for it. And we still follow behind the same cycle as if you're the smart one that's going to beat the game. Right. Nobody beats the game. Nobody beats the dope game. Nobody beats gang banging. Nobody beats drug selling or drug doing. You don't beat it. You lose every time. When we came over in slavery, you know we loved each other once upon a time as family. Now we can't even spare 60 seconds for each other to talk and build. And that's why we in this lowest state now. The white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man, they all coming together and building. But you know what the black man doing? We stay to ourselves. Now y'all gone. You are out. You ain't my friend. You ain't my brother. But these other nations coming together. And you know what they doing? They shutting up stores in your own community. Ain't nobody but blacks and Hispanics out here. Who own this store? Is it a brother that look like you that own this store? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that's what we are here to do. We are here to return love and the laws of God to the black man to build you up. Lafayette, don't go nowhere because I, I wanted to ask you a question. Finish that off. Read. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, uh -huh. and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And if you come out here and take, say the right thing to your people, they hate you for it. My sister, you got two minutes to spare for your brothers? Everybody like to say the black man ain't ish, F nigga free, and all of this. But when you get black men that's out here to fix the community, we hate each other and look at each other with an evil eye as if we ain't come out the same womb. As if we ain't come out the same womb. You three shades lighter than me, but you think we ain't the same people. We enemies to one another. Lafayette, I asked you a question earlier, bro. I asked you what's required of us as a people. Give me that in Deuteronomy. No, go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 first. Because us as a people, you knowing that you're an Israelite, you in a dangerous place. And you know why you're in a dangerous place? Because you know what's required of you, and you still willfully go against that as if God is not going to visit you for it. And what we out here to do is tell you, you got to snap out of it. I love to hear my people say that we know that we Israelites. But the part that, the part that I hate is when we know that we Israelites and there's no fruits or actions that come behind it. And I don't hate you for it. I love you as a brother, but I'm scared for you. You know why I'm scared for you? Give me that about uh, Nehemiah, about uh, Nehemiah beating with more stripes right after this. I'll find that for me. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hey, bro, what's your name in the white shirt? What's your name? Yeah. Keith, come build with me for a minute. So I asked my brother Lafayette a question, right? I asked him, what's the conclusion? What's, why is black men out here? Because what we are here to do is to teach the black men. You're the greatest thing on the face of the earth. But we in the lowest state and don't understand or believe it. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, God made you to be special. But why aren't we special? Because we're not doing what our Father commanded us to do. Let's see why. Why did God create man? Why did God create woman? Why did he create humans? What is the purpose for us? Don't leave, bro, because this information is for you. What is the purpose of man? Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So God is going to give you the conclusion of the whole matter. Lafayette, check it out. What's the conclusion? What's the end all be all to all of this madness? Read. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. And that's why the community is the way it is. Pull over, bro. It's because there's no fear for God in the, in the land. We fear Allah. 
Allah ain't your God. Allah ain't no God, period. If it ain't of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, there is no God. There is no God outside of the black, the God of the so-called black man. We are the ones that have a God. The only ones that have a God. Allah ain't no God. Krishna ain't no God. Buddha ain't no God. Ain't no gods outside of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's just the facts of it. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, God and keep his commandments. And do what, Lafayette? And keep his commandments. Why did God create us? What are we supposed to do? Fear God and keep his commandments. You hear that, Lafayette? Why, are we, why did God create us? To do what? To keep his commandments. Give me that in Deuteronomy 10 and 12. You hit it right on the money. That's the reason why our community is the way it is. Because we don't apply the things that we read. We read the Bible and we know these things, but we don't apply nothing. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. And now what? Now Israel. Israel is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God got a message for you. What did God say? And now Israel. And now who? Israel, my brother in the white shirt, you're an Israelite. You're God's chosen people. You ain't black, African American. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Read. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? And the reason why we in this lowest state, because we don't do what God requires of us. God didn't give us no options. It's either do what God say or you die. Read. But the fear of the Lord thy God. And that's why our community is the way it is, because there's no fear for God. We have absolutely no fear for God. We don't fear if we go out here and be a whoremonger that God might give us an STD or God might kill us. We don't fear when we go out here and kill a black man that his family not going to want retribution. Read. To walk in all his ways. So God says to do what? To walk in all his ways. Walking is actual actions. Actions. Meaning what? You should be living the life that Christ lived. Striving to the best of you to apply everything written in the book. And we don't do that, and this is the results of it. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Oh, my.